everybody! <laughs> Happy welcome back to school! I know it's a really hard time, like school is super tough. And then I thought, you know what, I bet I can make it easier for everybody with some really good advice. With me, Caitlin, and my cat Marco. So let's read some letters about some people who need some really big advice. Alright, this one is from Mia from Texas. She says, where do I sit at lunch? I never know where to sit because I can't stop moving. And you can't sit and move at the same time. Signed, Mia. Well, Mia, I disagree. I think you can definitely sit and move at the same time. Just watch me. See, it's easy. Now you try. Super job, Mia. You're gonna do excellent at sitting down at lunch. Let's get to another letter. This is from Gio from Chicago. That's where we're at, Chicago. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Uh, anyways, Gio says, my teacher makes me sit alone because I talk too much and I really don't like it or agree. But if I did, it's probably from when I was a toddler and my bunny would always, uh, Gio does talk a lot actually. This letter goes on and on and on, but I think I get the point and I can give you some really great advice. You feel alone because you have to sit all alone in class? Well, I think you just make more friends with anybody or anything. I mean, you can make a friend out of a table, you can make a friend out of some pens, you can make a friend out of a book, you can make a friend out of a wall. So there's a lot of ways to make friends and not be lonely anymore. What do you think, Marco? Hmm, that's a really good point. I'm glad to have your perspective here on the show. Let's read another letter. This one is from Kayla in California. Kayla says, I'm bad at math. Okay, well, I guess my advice is don't be. Right, Marco? He agrees. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I hope you got some really helpful advice when you go back to school this year and you don't feel so nervous. And next time you can ask some more advice for me and I'll totally give you some super good advice. Thank you. Bye.